Each of the five Toyota Land Cruisers LC300 gifted to the speakers cost 700 million shillings, according to sources at Parliament. This will ultimately cost the taxpayer 3.5 billion shillings. Speaker of Parliament Anita Neta Mong noted that the amendment of the Parliamentary Pension Act enabled the inclusion of non-monetary benefits to the former speakers. We don't want at a time when you're no more, everybody is paying tribute and talking all the good things about you. But as Parliament of Uganda, 11th Parliament of Uganda, we, pre, we, we thought it wise to appreciate you when you're still alive. Individual beneficiaries of the vehicles will be responsible for recruiting their own drivers who will be paid for by Parliament. The vehicles are to be replaced every five years with the repairs to be taken care of by the institution. These cars remain property of government of Uganda. Parliament will maintain these cars. Parliament will give you the, the, the former speakers, the drivers. Parliament will fuel these cars. Five former speakers catered for under the scheme were Professor Edward Gumayo, Francis Wetajira, the first National Resistance Movement National Vice Chairman Haji Moses Chigongo, and the former Vice President Edward Chiwanuka Sekandi. To recognize that we made some contribution to this country speaks a lot of volume because the country is like a stage. We play our part and go. But to be forgotten is a terrible thing. The first deputy prime minister and minister for East African Affairs, Rebecca Altuala Kadaga, was conspicuously absent at the handover ceremony. For almost 20 years, Kadaga served in the capacity of deputy speaker and later speaker of parliament. However, under the act, she is entitled to benefits under the two separate positions, just as is the case with Sekandi, who is also entitled to a vehicle and other items under the emoluments and benefits of the President, Vice President and Prime Minister Act. Asked about this, Buziro East Member of Parliament, Meda Dilwega Sogona, says accruing to the office holders under the independent laws is obscene. Well, Public Accounts Committee has recommended previously that we need to amend the law to rectify the anomaly because it is obscene. Honorable Sekandi was, a, was a, a deputy speaker. He has entitlements as a deputy speaker. He's a former speaker, now former vice president. He's not acceptable. He's immoral. And yet that is how the law is designed. Segona adds that among who still serves under parliament is under the law, also supposed to receive the emoluments as a former deputy speaker of parliament. That is our comment. The law is there. It is bad. There are certain things which were not foreseen. But it is ugly. It is greedy. If I were one of them, I would pick only one and not all. Yes, he's entitled three times. Now, so if someone is greedy, he will go for all. Public Service Minister Wilson Muruli Mukasa stated at the handover that a bill would soon be tabled in Parliament to provide for emoluments of other leaders currently not catered for. And this falls in line with the, the policy that we have in the country of a decent life right from inception up to the time one is sent to meet his Lord. And particularly those who have been uh, serving other people, uh, it's necessary that their uh, decent life should be protected. However, he didn't specify the positions of the leaders to be catered for and the time frame within which the bills would be tabled in Parliament. Jackson Onyango, NTV, Art Parliament.